Hello, I'm David D. Hilscher. I am a critical thinker, dissident scientist, and I'm here to tell you the truth about science, something your university professors won't tell you, the mass media won't tell you, and certainly those science evangelists won't tell you. I'm going to talk today about how useless particle physics is for us. One of the things is I remember when the uh, Large Hadron Collider, that big uh, atom smasher or particle accelerator we all know about that was built in Europe and they found the godfather the godfather the god particle <laughs> the godfather the god particle the Higgs boson and we got people like our science evangelists whose ego is saying we missed out we didn't build that particle accelerator and we missed out we missed out on what? The Higgs boson? The Higgs boson is like the quarks. It's like everything else we're looking for. It's like the new new particle they can't even you can't even pronounce. Two ups and a charm quark or something like that. It's useless. This is a useless endeavor. I have said before, particle physics is the flat earth society of today. People are going to look back on this and just laugh. We have built the most complicated machines, the most complex uh, piece of machinery practically built by man. For what? It's a giant hammer. And when we smash things together, all we can see is a trail of the stuff. We can't really see the stuff, and we have to interpret every little thing that's coming off of it. Why do we do it? Well, we do it because, I've told you before, is because countries throw money at it because they're thinking that we're going to find the next atomic bomb, the next biggest thing, so that if I find it, I have world power. The atomic bomb is the biggest thing that we're looking. Watch my film, EinsteinWrong.com. I talk about that. That's where the money comes from. But particle physics is useless. It has produced nothing. When 60 Minutes asked the physicists a while back, many years ago, when the Large Hadron Collider went online about what does it give mankind? You know what the answer was? The internet. Now that is the most mind-boggling answer you can get. And it's not even really true. What that refers to as DARPAnet, which was built by the gov U.S. government to try to transfer lots of data for particle physicists at the time that was what the first use was it was for. So are you telling me that if we didn't have particle physics, no one would have transferred data long distance because you only you particle physics, physicists uh, w would make that demand? And so right now, you wouldn't be, you wouldn't be watching this because particle physics physics. That is the biggest BS, stupidest answer you ever hear. If you are looking and you are looking at the building blocks of the universe, we should have as models, physical models, such a good model that we should be starting to do things and manipulate things. Why don't we have quark um, quark drives and you know quark uh, quarks are so small, let's get quark microscopes and then see the real workings of an atom. We don't have any of that. We, you know, the idea now of quantum mechanic, quantum computing. I won't even talk about that. Quantum mechanics is another thing to talk about. Won't talk about that right now. I don't want to do that. I'm just shoot myself in the head. But the idea that particle physics is something useful, is something that's given mankind all those billions of dollars that we've we've put into it and if the answer is well we're no we're learning the secrets of the universe that's another problem physicists have God didn't make or the universe doesn't exist because of some mathematical laws we make up we have math math is our system in fact the real number system is one of the number systems there are many others real number system works pretty well in most cases but in some places it's not we, to say that we're getting this in pure information, pure, 
I don't even know what to call it. I, I don't even have a word for it. I mean, what, it, what are we getting out of it? Um, a knowledge about the universe, how the universe works. That's what we sort of hear. And the inner workings of the universe and beyond. You know, the curiosity about the things around us, why I don't mind us spending billions of dollars, for instance, going out in space and looking at things and sending probes, because you see things. If we get to the point where we can get to those places and live there and terraform whatever, that's useful. Particle physics is not quarks from at at atoms, from electrons, protons, and neutrons, or whatever makes up the atom. Everything below it is garbage. So we have to stop saying and stop allowing physicists to say, oh, this is useful. It's worth it. It isn't. We have to stop, take a deep breath, and say, this everything that we've gone from the quark on from 1930 on around that time, we have to throw out and start over. Okay? We gotta start giving ourselves Nobel Prizes over it. We gotta start over. F particle physics gives us nothing. C colliders, you know what they're doing at Stanford Linear Accelerator? When I was there in 2005, they, they were gonna stop their particle accelerator in smashing protons or whatever they were shooting. They're stopping it. They're gonna use. They said they were gonna use it as a microscope or on how molecules uh, reacted with other molecules. Why? Because our our atomic structure models are so sucky that even in computer models with with tweaks we can't really describe it. We don't know what's going on there. But so they were going to turn into something actually pretty useful. So even the people at Stanford Linear Accelerator are going, oh, this is maybe a waste of time. Maybe it's being perceived as a waste of time, and maybe people are going to get money at it because they're going to look at 60 years of work and say, you know, we haven't produced anything from this. And people are giving you money or are scratching their heads. So, anyways, that's for today. And it's something to think about. And remember, as I say, don't take anything on faith. Don't take what people take what people say for granted. Stay critical. Stay thinking. I am David D. Hills, your, your science therapist. You will come along and find out and believe. And I know many of you really do believe. The silent majority does. Particle physics is a unicorn dead end world, and it's totally useless for mankind, except for maybe creating jobs for some people for a temporary time. Ciao for now.